Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retrovation. This is Ants Took My Eyeball, an action platformer roguelite. We're going to be checking out the demo for as part of the Steam Next Fest here. Very excited. It looks quite interesting. So in we go. Hey, you. Have you seen my eyeball? Whoa. Wait, you don't look like one of those foul ants. Ah, yes, the ants. The ants took my eyeball. Oh, what a surprise. Did you see where they went? Hey, Mo saw a bunch of those stupid ants carrying a big ugly ball right past this place just a minute ago. Hamo was barely able to avoid those six-legged punks. All right, thanks, Hamo. I'll have uh, have to get going then. Wait, wait. You're in it to fight these ants, right? Hamo happens to be in a quarrel with these purple idiots, and Hamo thinks we might be able to help each other. So how about you go after the ants down the hole, and Hamo will be right behind you. All right. So what do we have here? Okay, we can. We got a little bit of a dash. We can wall climb. All right. Down we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe the demo even has local co-op, which is pretty interesting here. All right. What the heck we got? Stick. Long stick. That should do it. Okay, right-click to melee. Space to jump. All right, we're good. Hey, you punk! Ooh. It actually, you know, it feels kind of nice. Space, we can double jump. Gun? Gun. <laughs> Very basic gun, shoots bullets, and that's it. Well, alrighty then. Oh, I'm in! Okay. Can we just, like... Good. Oh my, look at that. So, I'm gonna assume... I feel like you never assume spikes are Spelunky style until, uh... Oh god. <laughs> until you have to. Like, I don't kind of want to just walk alongside him just to explore, just for the sake of it. But I kind of do. I like that even the lamps kind of are, uh, you know, like, fireflies there. Sorry. Adjusting. So where's our ammo count? We got it in the upper left. Whoa! He's a, he's a loud jumper. He, he hops louder than a whole freaking, like, pot. It, just shattering into a million pieces. Oh, oh. I mean, the gun seems solid enough, but... Oh, my, okay. I'm pretty sure I totally just would have landed on those spikes. Okay. Good science done there. Uh, what the hell is happening here? Open bloody door. Uh, it looks like it has a keyhole, but... Okay, I just had... I want to give it a shot. Sometimes there's a chance that, um... You know, it'll open with life instead. Whoa! Oi! Oi! Uh, what the hell? It's very dark over there in that corner. I don't know if I quite want to head on out over there. We are out of ammo. We need to be a little bit more conservative there. He says as he then starts blasting. Feels like surprisingly fluid here for like an early demo of a game. Oh boy. I, I am a little bit scared of going over here to smack this guy, especially since it gets so dark over there. Like, we can see it a little bit, but as we get closer, we actually start to see it less, which is a little interesting. Hey, punk. I'm assuming that's going to be an arrow trap. Can I, like, fall past it quick enough to activate it? Oh, oh. Ah, there I, I, I was ready for that other one. Getting kind of like, uh, like Vagante vibes to an extent, but like a little bit more fluid. Like, Vagante by way of Celeste, if that makes sense. Just like, we have pretty nice mobility here, if I'm going to be honest. Hoyo! Which is pretty cool. We have like the nice, clean, jumpy, jumpy wall slides. We can grip on very, very tight. Hoi! Like, we're able to move pretty much uh, in any way that I kind of want here. So, oh, uh, super bug of some sort? Hey, you there. Maybe that guy up there is, like, um, spawning extra ants? You're, like, frost enchanted in some way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Wait, okay, so the enemy does not proc that. That little spike trap. 
Good to know, good to know. Just be careful. Oh my god, it's so freaking dark! Can I get a flashlight? It's impossible to see anything over here. Is that part of it? Is there like a uh, flashlight button that I'm not aware of? I think that's under uh, player preferences. The, I gotta say as well, like the demo has an obscene amount of extra options that you can play around with, like more than most full-fledged games, which I'm happy about. Um, use gadget, there's a chance. Yeah. Drop stick, no thank you. Oh boy. Proc that. Oy. Maybe we'll get a freaking torch. I can see a darn th I can't see anything over here, man. I'm doing fine. Just flail wildly and while well, slowly moving backwards, and we're going to be okay. Okay, we got our more ammo for our gun. Not too much, though. I kind of want to save it for when I feel like I really need it. These standard ants are not really worth it. Thank God the spike traps uh, and arrow traps do have, like, kind of a glow to them. Ooh. But yeah, I would bump up this light radius by a lot. Like, not for, uh, like, difficulty concerns, but for just legibility concerns. Ooh, boy. But, like, dang it, it feels so nice to just move around and swing and control in this. Oh! Careful. Yeah, this guy is maybe more what we should be uh, smacking with our gun. <laughs> you know, smack him with the bullets. Oh, God. Kind of want to relocate to a spot with a little bit more light. Or at the very least, by these, uh, these mushrooms here could work well. The fact that I can actually tell what's going on is is really impressive. Whoop, whoop. But like this mixed with if the controls were unresponsive would be a nightmare. Wooden chest, what do you got? Rebound ring, give a shielded status while dashing. Ooh, wait a minute. Some actually kind of neat upgrades. Uh, this beautifully crafted weapons fires multiple fireballs at once. Now there we go. How do I... Is that gadget? How do I swap? So we have the left click, right click. Uh, so what about that? We have... Uh, can't be gadget. I guess... Ah, we can press one to sort of swap between it there. Ooh. I'm willing to bet that is going to, at the very least, light up the area. No, not really. Zoop. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I think we... So we have the map up there that we have explored at the very least. Oh, look at that. We got our little tab there. Yeah. So, Celeste Vagante. Which is probably going to make some people scream tears of joy. Okay, here we go. We're back to a kind of lit up area. I would assume we'd be pretty strong at this. Ooh. So 77 HP. I feel like we've not really gotten hit very often. Wait. That counts as a dash? Just jumping off the wall counts as a dash, which is pretty cool. Good to know. At least as far as... Oh, God. <laughs> as far as the uh, the mechanic of the item is concerned. Schmack! Is that anything? I feel bad about that. I don't think that was really... Are you doing anything bad? Not really. Wow. Man, those arrow traps are the things that are getting me, if anything. I missed it. Yeah, it was right there. Oh, hey, what the heck? Okay, so those guys that were on the wall that I uh, started to feel bad about, I'm not so worried about it. 
Long and sharp blade rarely seen in these parts of the world. I'm going to assume that this is better. Okay, so this area, who I think is just like a little bit darker by nature. I would assume that we don't do very good damage against a fire ant. Now this one makes sense. We got a fire ant, but not so sure about the ice ants. Never, uh, never seen one of them in my life. Smack. Yeah, these kind of like more uh, off the beaten path areas. I swear, man. The more off the beaten path areas seem like they're a little bit naturally darker. Smack. Which I guess is understandable, maybe. Maybe this is supposed to be like a kind of trickier area. The fire does light things up just a little bit. Dang, man. Increase the brightness and like this is really solid. Okay, wonk. Smack, smack. Not to mention local co-op going on. Oh, baby. Ooh. We're at 42. Do I have any kind of, like, way to heal? There's a big monster up here. I, I hear it. Go for it. Give him hell. Abuse it. I don't care, man. We got we have a lot of ammo left still in that. Punk. Punk. Oy, oy. I hear a little bit more. Oh my god. A little bit more of a uh, beast kind of growling bit. Okay, so that's what you do. You you do a butt stomp. That's your thing. Gotcha. So we have full, ar uh, full armor, full ammo. So the dash goes towards our, um, the direction we're facing, not the mouse cursor. I'm gonna see if that's in the settings. It is not. Though I am sure the devs would be fine with it just by, you know, kind of looking at how, uh, you know, the menu is very, very open with that kind of stuff. The sacred hairpin allows its user to dash one more time in rapid succession. Ooh. I mean, pretty cool. Okay, so we got a big boy, and he's on fire. Aye, aye, aye. I just wanted to get the hell out of there. Hey, I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna play fair if I don't have to. Why would I? The random generation here got... Uh... <laughs> this sound like a dog. He gave me an out. I'm gonna take it. A katana. I like this better right now. Uh, your energy weapons have a 50% chance to not consume energy while well, your energy ammo is below 30%. I don't know if this is... If my um, gun is energy or if it's like explosive ammo or something. Kind of like a, like a bomb or what have you. I want to go back to the light area where I can see and I can fight. Just look at that, though. Like, the the potential skill ceiling for all the movement capabilities is really high, which is so fun. Not to mention, like, I bet you there's tons of different ability upgrades. Tried to abuse the wall there. I bet you there's a ton of different ability upgrades that let you, uh, get even wilder with it. Uh, damage is up by 30% on healthy enemies. Ooh, be careful there. Oh. Hit that, we do. Oh, we do. Ah. Oh, boy. Go, go. Man, the dodge is on shift because the gun is on right click. 
I feel like this is a controller game. Mine just wasn't working right now. It does have controller support already, even. Uh, increases your max HP by 20. Uh, it does not increase our current health by 20, though. Do we have any kind of, like... Trinkets, gadgets? Nope. We do not have any healing. Oh, boy. Get out of here. I don't even know. I don't know how we do heal. Okay, so yeah, every time we, like, break one of those tunnels, that's when we get into kind of, like, the more dark areas. And, like, I know it's fun for it to be dark and everything, but, like, dang, is it, like, not that accessible. Boop, 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 boop. Going ham with this thing. Where's the dang healing? How about here? Golden chest. Increase magazine capacity by 50%. I mean, of course. Lightning gun. I mean, that's got to be an energy thing. Uh, more effective against flying enemies. Okay, that's kind of fun. <laughs> what? All right. Well, we gotta we gotta get close to an enemy. So clearly, it's gotta be like a kind of thing where it's it just arcs off. But if there's no enemy, it's kind of nothing. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty cool. Is it chain? I didn't read. I like to explore. You know, experiment. Whoop whoop. I just saw more uh, effective against flying enemies, and then after that, I'm like, I don't care, man. I wanna I wanna do. Baseball bat? I mean, I'll pick it up, but, like, do we have a limit? It ain't bad, but dang, I do feel like this... I, I think we hit it big with this first weapon we picked up. Moth cave. Wait, what? There's a whole other, like, zone in the demo? How does a guy heal? Crap. There's multiple zones? Next level. Wait, what? In the demo? No way. Enter next level. Moth Cave. I mean, we do have something that helps us against flyers. Oh, it is also very dark. I mean, this is dark too. They're both kind of dark. I feel like we're going to get more... Oh my god, there's like a... What the hell? A compactor there. I'm going to get smushed. Pretty confident I'm going to get smushed. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Hardy Shroom. We need 400... Alright, we have 200... We need 400... I'll buy it. I'm assuming that we can, like, scrap items here. Oh, God. Yep. I don't know if I want to just get rid of my standard gun or not yet. Can be used to upgrade fine what what? What the heck? This is a this is a fine melee weapon. Oh, do we like uh, we like drop it on there? Okay, so we could, like... This item can't be upgraded. But that is how you do it? Interesting. I feel like there could be, like, 
this is a I, I do like this from like an in-world perspective. It's kind of like fun that we get to do it this way, but I do think for quality of life, it would be nice to be able to just open up a menu. I'll upgrade the Dragon's Breath for two. Oh, I need two epic components. Oh. So this just can't be upgraded, huh? Really? Why? Why not? The only... The blue weapons? Is that, is that the deal? I guess I don't have any other melee weapons. I could upgrade the... Gun, maybe? Sure. I mean, that is pretty cool. Alright. So the scrapyard is... Is just... So that I can do this? Or is this just a small part of that conveniently? Because it looks like there's no, no more in the scrapyard right now. But again, it's a demo. Like, who freaking knows? It is so freaking dark. What is this? Is this a boss or something? Sure seems like it. Uh, Bonus damage against flying enemies. Is something. Ah, dang it! I'm gonna die. Oh, can't get to it. Meta ammo. Oh my god! Switch weapons on the fly is so tough. I'm gonna die here. Oh boy. Oh my god, you see the physics on that? You're like new to swap that back. To push those uh, those bows back at me. Very cool. Ooh. Oh boy. Just live. Just live, man. Move. So this shot uh, seems to break bullets for some reason, which is really nice. Uh, no. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> this is like really solid. This is so solid for a demo. What the hell? And again, when I when I play this son of a gun on controller too. This is definitely a controller game. So what's that about? Like, I... Hamo's pop-up boutique. I got healed fully? Ooh. Magazine capacity. So it's kind of, I'm assuming, like, Risk of Rain style, where, like, we can just get a whole bunch and keep on upgrading it. Brutal Cleaver. Uh, heavy and Vicious Blade. Three seconds of bleeding to unarmored enemies on every third hit. Increase the amount of chemical ammo you can carry. Oh, chemical is probably what it is. Heavy dunity. Dunity? Duty. So this probably upgrades. An additional jump midair is pretty neat, too. I'll buy that. And I want this. I hope it's good. Okay. Nice. Fill it on up. Next. When are you going to cut me off, man? When are you going to cut me off? Okay. Take the bloody key. I mean, that's for that bloody door, I guess, but... I'd imagine... I, I guess I, I am curious. How did we get down here, then? Oh, if it's closed. The wetlands. Oh, boy. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Really? How do I... I gotta jump over them? Dash through them or something? Get out of here. All right. Oh, boy. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's good against flyers. Maximum health up even more. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. One bit. Please, let me up. Seems like that might bounce through the shield. Get out of here. I don't know what I did there. I, I freed something. Oh, let's go. Is this going to be a nice bright area? Ow! Smack. Huh. Ah, you son of a gun. You son of an ant. Smack him. Just smack him. What do we got? Dragon's Breath shirt. Dash through. Smack the bum. Smack that ant bum. Piranha. More piranha slander. Oh. Please. What is this? Oh, I thought that was a glowing chest. More damage against healthy enemies. And another katana. Why is the music so good, too? What the heck? Where did this game come from? Razor Sharp Stinger. 30% chance to penetrate enemy armor. Just all pen... Uh, just... Is that... Is it a weapon or is it a passive? It's a passive. Cool. 50% uh, chance to not consume enemy when our energy is below 30. Pierce through that armor. I guess armor is uh is just the yellow. Oh, you stinker! Not good. I don't know if I love this uh, melee weapon. I feel like I like the faster. I think I like the faster better. That that doesn't have a chance to bleed. I think it's just more reliable. Maybe on like a longer term boss fight, we'd want something that has that damage over time. But as of right now, I'm fine without it. Hey, oh, yeah. Got a frost lead of some kind. Back it up, back it up. Look at that little waterfall. All right. Let's find out. A bloody key. Shrine of blood. Um... It's so dark in here. Uh. Okay. Melee weapon. 50 bucks. Huge sword, 100% more damage to armor and extra damage to wounded enemies. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god, it's massive! Hey. So slow! Jeez! It do damage though. It do damage. Hiya! What is happening with it? So the second hit is like a like a pierce kind of a thing. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, range weapon fire rates. Oh, it's our first gadget. So Q is for gadget. It's our first, like, active item. More or less. Let's 
so this is with the gadget on. I mean, no longer on now. I think that's the one. Car Wait, what? Carry? Oh, I can carry a corpse, Spelunky style or something? Oh my god. Oh, it was not worth it. It was not worth it. I also really feel like trading my HP may not have been too worth it as well. feel like it may bite us in the bum. Piranha. Oh, it's a... Ice piranha? Thank God I can shoot my fire into the water and it doesn't matter. Oi! This does disgusting damage. Scrapyard. Hey, I know you. So the scrapyard is probably just always the same thing, but you have to, like... Put yourself through a little bit of turmoil to get to the item upgrade. That's kind of interesting. Whoop. Again, boy, I wish it was not so dark, but like, hey, what are you going to do? Like, I don't need it to be bright, just like somewhere in the middle. <laughs> somewhere in the middle seems fine to me. Take that. I feel like we can drop... Drop the katana. You know what? I'll drop this too. Because we get an upgrade. Yeah, we get an upgraded component. Two components gives us. Okay, you know what? I am going to drop this then. And let's upgrade. Oops. That's a quicker way of doing it. That can't be upgraded. Why can't this one be upgraded? Maybe it just can't be upgraded yet or something. Like, maybe in the future it will be able to. I mean, I'm cool with that. Alright. Zoop. I suspect... Death is on the table. So, can we, like, genuinely skip the boss if we just don't want to? Is that kind of... Oh, oh, okay, well, that was just... Never mind. Okay, so you don't always find the scrapyard at the end of the level. Gotcha. I... Yeah, but boy. Yeah, we're in trouble. That fire boy up there is going to be a lot to deal with. Oh boy. Yeah, he's, he's not really a uh, an enemy to kill with a slow weapon. There we go, finally. A grasshopper of sorts. I'm surprisingly into this sword, though, despite normally not liking slower weapons in games like this. I think it's due to the fact that the character is incredibly mobile. So it makes it a little bit easier to justify. Good deal. Oh, no. Oh, he just dashed into my blade, you ding dong. Uh, your attack slow enemies. Great. Well, there you go. I don't need to uh, go back to scrap that right now, though, because I don't really need the money at the moment. And I... Uh, won't be able to upgrade anything else anyways. Oh my god, piranhas. Oh my god, so many piranhas. Lol. Go. Just leave. Just leave. Get healed. Oh. I feel like we might have skipped the boss, which I would assume is not smart. Bullet based weapons that fire multiple projectiles at once have a 20% chance to fire 50% more. That seems fun. Alright. How 
the hell is there this much content in the demo? What's happening? And queen. Okay, so this that's why we're done. We're done here now. Oh my word. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh boy, so what yeah, we get trapped into our attacks like crazy. You know what? Let's use a little bit of gun. Oh man. Oh boy. You go, go, go. Oh, there's ants on the bottom. I didn't even notice, but we're actually almost done with the boss. We do like pretty good damage. Ooh, get wrecked. Bap. <laughs> I would. I was gonna say that should be the end. Holy moly. Uh, you've reached the end of the demo, but you may continue playing and unlock all of the upgrades you haven't already. If you enjoyed the game, don't forget to wishlist on Steam. What do you mean there's up upgrades? Good morning. You better get going up and going, so get on up. <gasps> starting to look like uh, it's starting to look like Hamo and you will be spending a lot of time together. Why don't you make this place look like a home? Get a plus one hearty shroom at the end of each run wait what at the start of each run uh plus one trinket choose from one option from components these don't seem too bad oh i mean it's pretty uh it's pretty it's pretty beefy meta progress stuff you were this close and took my eyeball you were this close to greatness I mean, hey, I, I'm not going to judge it yet on the, the meta progress, but hey, it's very fun. It's really good. I look I look past it. It's game solid. Game's so solid. Optical components. And plus, we don't know how difficult things will uh, will get, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's always the thing. And I guess we don't have to use these. Like, we can just not take them. No, I guess that's not... Trinket printer. Available trinkets, none. Interesting. Well, boy howdy. Uh, very, very interesting. Very shocked. This game came out of nowhere. Couple things. Uh, yeah, I would say adding an option to have dash towards mouse. Very small thing, but I would recommend it. Uh, especially since you seem like you're totally cool with adding lots of different options and player accessibility settings, things like that. I would say slap that one on there. I think that that's a, a very common one. Uh, I would also say uh, the the core brightness of the game, like the core player brightness aura should be a little bit higher for like, if for nothing else, viewing purposes, like if not playing purposes, viewing purposes of your game like having it be a little bit have a little bit more brightness will go a long way with having it be like youtubeable and twitch streamable which is a very like uh, you know it is a very important part of getting your game like popular and recognized in this day and age so like i think having a little bit extra brightness would be good i'm not saying to make every area of the game bright as hell like look there are gonna be little challenging areas that are you know, similarly dark, and that is kind of the uh, the difficult thing of it. But uh, it was mostly an issue in the first zone, and then it didn't. Then it wasn't really an issue after that, unless you were in the scrapyard. Like maybe that could be the thing. The scrapyard could be the dark zone. I don't know. The developer can figure that out. I just think that um, having it be a little bit brighter, uh, or maybe quite a, like maybe even a lot brighter, especially since you're going for like the slightly more washed out uh, palette, the less. Uh, black blacks and bright white whites 
going for that, you know, as you can see. This is not anything to do with my recording, this kind of, like, more washed out dark gray color. That is an intentional element of the game, which I think is totally fine, but if you're going to do that, uh, you're going to need to make sure the visibility in other areas of the game is on point. And unfortunately, that's like the only area, or I guess I would say, I would say fortunately, fortunately, that's the only area that I think the game really needs help right now. Genuinely, I think the game's great. And uh, the fact that it has local co-op in uh, demo form blows my mind. Alas, alas, check this one out for sure. Link at the top description. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.